Namaskaram. My name is Sarun Kumar and I welcome you all in Yoga, Health and Happiness. Today I am trying to focus on, on, on your spine, lower back problem. Now yoga will do a set of series of yoga asanas which are quite helpful in, in addressing the problem which are caused basically in your lower back problems. So this is a set of series of asanas. Uh, we'll, there, there are warm-ups, there are yoga asanas followed by pranayama. Uh, we'll, we'll do at least this for 20-25 minutes maximum. So I request you to take a mat and um, continue with me. Start with, start with a small warm-up. If you are unable to do anything of any kind of any yoga asanas or warm-ups, or anything which is inconvenient to you, stop there itself and then you don't have to follow with my instructions if the body is, if your body is not allowing you to do, that's important. Now slowly stretch both the hands forward and up and down, 4, 3, 2, 1 and relax after completing the round. Next. Slowly, hands rotation in a direction. Now, one role in yoga is with your breath is when, when our hands goes up or whenever the body is expanding, we breathe in. Whenever the body is expanding or whenever the body is making an upward direction, breathing in and as it is coming down, Breathing out opposite direction. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax after completing the round. Stretch both the hand forward and wrist rotation in a direction. Five, four. Warm ups are really very important before doing any kind of yoga asanas because it helps in improving the flow of prana. In the throughout the body opposite direction after that now if you after getting up from the bed early early in the morning you the stiffness and the stiffness in the body and all will not allow you to um, do asanas properly so before that a little bit of warm-up is really very important and relax after that please next take your attention to your head now rotate your head in a direction Three, two, one. Opposite direction after that. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax after that. Next, shoulder rotation. Basically, we are trying to focus on on maximum area of our joints from our head to toe <coughs> opposite direction after completing the round five four three two one and relax after that give a support to your back now and slowly hip rotation in a direction Spreading your legs apart, giving a support to your back, slow and smooth, hip rotation, 3, 2, 1, and relax, opposite direction after completing the round, 4, 3, awareness towards to the process is very important, make sure that whatever we may do is not at all a mechanical thing. For that, awareness towards to those particular area wherever we are trying to focus on is of a vital importance. And relax after that, please. And next. Next, please be seated. And lie down facing. Please be seated. And stretch your leg forward. Keeping your spine comfortably straight. Taking your attention to your toes. Open and close your toes. Five, four, 
थ्री टू वन नेक्स्ट स्ट्रेच योर फीट फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री वन नेक्स्ट रोटेट बोथ द लेग फीट इन ए डायरेक्शन थ्री टू वन एंड ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दैट थ्री टू वन ऑल द थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज टू द मैक्सिमम एक्सटेंड ट्राई रीच योर लार्जर टू ऑफ बोथ द लेग फीट टू द ग्राउंड एंड एट द सेम टाइम ट्राई रीच योर smallest toe of your both the leg feet to the ground as you are rotating and relax after completing that round next for butterfly joining both the leg feet together joining both the leg feet together interlock your hand try catch hold of your try catch hold of your toes by interlocking If this is convenient for you, you can you can do that. Interlocking your hand and then slowly flapping your leg up and down. Lie down facing upward direction. Please lie down facing upward direction. Now, take your attention. roll your body towards to the right side and lie down facing downward direction with chin resting on to the ground both the hands back take your attention to your right leg here trace your right leg 6 inches above the ground and keep stretching your leg outward direction continue breathing in and breathing out being in that position with 3 2 and relax after completing the round tilt your head sideways next with chin resting on to the ground in one breath after every yoga asana we'll take a couple of couple of breath now make sure that in in approximately even in one breath itself proper relaxation should happen so that should be the intensity of your awareness towards to to relax yourself that's important take your attention to your opposite leg now please raise your left leg and keep stretching your leg outward direction with 3 2 1 and relax after completing the round tilt your head sideways release your complete body take a long and deep breath in breathe out completely now if going forward if possible we'll make a fist of our hand fist in between your lower abdominal and your thigh both the hands don't make a fist a fist of your hand maybe opposite side you may not be able to see but the same thing is happening and slowly if convenient slowly raising your head up shoulder up chest up and both the legs up with 4 3 2 one and relax after completing the round tilt your head sideways relax your hands please take a long and deep breath in release your complete body weight onto the ground breathe out completely next with chin resting onto the ground bringing both the hands near your shoulder with the help of your hand raise your body up as you breathe in staying in that position with 3 2 one and relax after completing the round tilt your head sideways both the hands back release your complete body weight onto the ground take a long and deep breath in breathe out completely make sure that you are not in a hurry to complete the process that's very important the slower we do the better it is with chin resting onto the ground bringing both the hands near your shoulder and without taking much support of your hand raise your body up as you breathe in look up with 3 2 1 and relax after completing the round 
tilt your head sideways relax your hands back take a long and deep breath in breathe out completely now if convenient with chin resting onto the ground bending both the legs please and now without straining your back very important without straining your back try catch hold of your ankle with both the hands and slowly raise your head up shoulder up chest up uh, try not to strain yourself much please slow and smooth with 3 2 1 and relax after completing the round please tilt your head sideways take a long and deep breath in breathe out roll your body towards to the right side and lie down facing upward direction slide on facing upward direction take your attention to your right leg now please raise your right leg up interlock your hand try catch hold of your shin now as you breathe out raise your head up and try bring your head closer to your knee you may not be able to touch but that's okay but if you are having a problem in your neck please do not raise your head up try bring your leg closer to your chest staying in that position with 3 2 1 and relax after completing the round relax your hand relax your leg down stretch your leg forward take your attention to your opposite leg now please raise your left leg interlock your hand and as you breathe out bring your leg closer to your chest and if convenient raise your head up try bring your head closer to your knee with four three align complete body in one straight line two one and slowly relax your head down relax your hand stretch your leg forward take a long and deep breath in breathe out completely with both the legs now please raise both the leg up interlock your hand catch hold of your shin bone by interlocking your hand and as you breathe out bring your leg closer to your chest and as you breathe out if convenient head up purna pavan muktasana And then slowly relax your head down, relax your hand, stretch your leg forward. Hands palm facing towards to the ceiling. Take a long and deep breath in. Breathe out completely. Next, please bend both the legs. Try reach your heel with both the hands and slowly raise your lower back up above the ground. stretch as much as possible please see that flexibility is not at all the thing which we are trying to focus on especially when you do yoga make sure that how much your body is allowing you to do you go till that extend only and slowly relax your lower back down stretch your leg forward and palm facing towards to the ceiling take a long and deep breath in next take your attention to your right leg now please raise your right leg up try catch hold of your feet by interlocking both the hands now make sure that your knee will go outward direction outside try interlocking your hand and catch hold of your feet now take a long and deep breath in and as you breathe out raise your head up try bring your head closer to your larger toe with four Three, two, and slowly relax after completing the round. Relax your head down. Relax your hand. Stretch your leg forward. Take a long and deep breath in. Breathe out completely. Attention to your opposite leg now. With with your left leg, try catch hold of your feet by interlocking your hand. And as you breathe out, brace your head up, if possible. 
otherwise you can just relax your head onto the ground and try bring your head leg closer as close to your chest with three two one and then slowly relax after completing the round relax yourself please stretch your leg forward take a long and deep breath in breathe out completely Padha and Gushta Nasa Sparsasan with both the legs now please raise both the leg up join both the leg feet together try bringing your leg closer to your body interlock your hand and catch hold of your feet by interlocking your hand make sure that both the legs legs knees will go outside and from in between you will be trying to catch hold of your feet now as you breathe out raise your head up and try bring your head closer to your larger toe with four three two one and then slowly relax your head down relax your hand stretch your leg forward please relax yourself in shavasana for few moment slowly take your attention roll your slowly roll your body towards to the right side and with the help of your hand please be seated now important thing is that whenever you go uh, to your bed or when you are trying to lie down onto the ground always take the support of your hand and then and then lie down and always take the support of your hand and get up see that you are not directly coming up even though if you are really very healthy this this practice is is quite dangerous because it put tremendous pressure on your spine and hence as the time goes by in one day or two day it doesn't happen one week two week or one year two year um, you will not see anything but over a period of time for a for a long period of time if you do um, things wrong you know some time or other day some or other day you will see that problems are coming up and that is how the entire things works because we do something wrong thing happens in our life is just because the smallest of smallest thing that we do repeatedly throughout uh, throughout for a, for many years and one day the body gives up and that is how all forms of diabetes cholesterol or what not all the uh, all the diseases major diseases uh, does, just happens because of that now coming forward uh, for lower back is a proven um, medicine it's it just acts like a medicine so i request you that that you follow whatever is been said it is really very safe and the only rule which you have to follow is that that whatever we are doing make sure that you are not pushing yourself don't go with the instruction of anybody because every individual in this world are Uh, works in a different way the chemical combination uh, the way the physical um, level the psychological aspect of the body everything is different in all the all um, th- throughout the world so mostly whatever the asana which i may be able to do maybe you may not be able to do it or your body will not allow you to do uh, to come to that flexibility whatever you can do i cannot reach there so it is very important that respect the body and then um, we just have to try to listen to our body and then and then accordingly we have to go forward with yoga asana practice especially it is flexibility is not at all the important thing which i keep on telling uh, in yoga especially though flexibility is just a by product of it it uh, when it comes it comes it has to come by itself we don't have to really focus on that so uh, i believe that this this class which has been which is a very short will be really very useful and i request you to do if you are if you are having a daily back ache problem for for few moment of time at least this will not cost you not more than 15 to 20 minutes 20 25 minutes max i think